Hello, peasant. Don't get offended though, because it takes one to know one. Today, we are gonna be upgrading my computer to some new PC parts. This is not a sponsored video. I bought these parts with my own money on Black Friday. So, uh, you know, if you could leave a like on this video, I'd appreciate it, even though I called you peasants. But hey, at least we're peasants together. How about we start our technological journey of precision and wisdom. First thing we're gonna do is roll this computer out to my balcony. We're gonna use these dust blowers here to be very precise and get the dust out of here. You wanna be very careful because we're gonna be using a bunch of these parts here. We're upgrading just some. If you want a little bit more power, you could go for one of these uh, dust blowers, which, you know, gives you a little bit more blowing power. But you just gotta make sure that you get it clean. Then we're gonna go ahead and roll it back to my gaming room. And by the way, this is my room. I keep telling you guys that I'll do a tour. Uh, let me know if you guys want it. I don't think it's that interesting. And then without any further ado, let's go ahead and start removing parts. Actually, uh, what we're upgrading today is the motherboard, the CPU, and we are putting another M.2 in there. We're gonna keep the cooler, the graphics card, the RAM, power supply, and maybe tidy up some stuff. Um, I don't know what these LED lights were held up here with, but they don't stay there anymore. Last time I did a PC build, a lot of people enjoyed the step-by-step. -step. I'll try to make them as short as possible without making them boring. So if you enjoyed, you enjoy it. If you don't, uh, it's happy Monday. I don't have like a nice setup for a camera overhead. I should build one. I'm gonna be using this one on a tripod. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. But the first thing we're gonna do is remove the old RAM. It's got some clips here. Just lift them up. That's one RAM and four. The RAM is out of the PC. Next, I'm gonna remove my graphics card. And I know it looks a little bit weird. My actual heatsink for my 2080 Ti uh, stopped working a few months ago and I ended up going to water cooled. I have that video recorded, I never posted it, but uh, let's go ahead and remove this screw here. At the bottom of the card, there is a little clip to press. Maybe I should disconnect the power while I'm at it here. And here's the card coming out. At the back, I disconnected the SATA power cable because I want to pull it out a little bit. Right here, I have a network card. This is a network card that I used to connect my streaming PC and my gaming PC together. Then just to make it a little easier, we're going to disconnect the power cable to the motherboard. This is USB 3.0 front panel. Then we have here one SATA cable, two SATA cables, three and four. Inside here, we just have some cables that I'm gonna pull out. These are just like USBs. I didn't build this PC, so we're gonna track all these back when I'm installing the motherboard for right now, just hanging there. We move towards the top and remove the power cable to the uh, CPU, which is really stuck in there. And then this one here is for the pump. This one here is for the fans. We got the USB connected here too. Now we're gonna unscrew the heat sink on the CPU. I'm noticing I might need to disconnect the cable here. There we go. So I had to disconnect the SATA power to the cooler. That's gonna free up the heat sink to just simply lift off. Got some thermal paste there. We can open this little ledge. And this right here is our old CPU. That's it right there. I'm also gonna remove this M.2 right here. This is a 500 gig M.2 SSD. And now the only thing that's holding the motherboard is just a couple of screws because we have nothing else connected to it. So let's go ahead and remove those. And I think that might be it. Let's see if we can lift the motherboard. Yep. That is it. I will be taking this off because we're gonna be using the same cooler. All I gotta do is unscrew these ones here. The fourth one and then on the back we can remove this bracket. This is where we're gonna put on the new motherboard. Before you install the new motherboard, um, you just wanna make sure that you have these lifters here and you wanna make sure that you have these installed. Uh, my case seems to have them all in place. We're gonna go ahead and open our motherboard, new one. This is the old one, this is the new one, similar layout. This is kinda cool, I haven't seen this before. Uh, this is a stickers little page, but these stickers, you got RGB, you got SATA, you got USB, you got fan, and so you can actually mark your cables. That's really nice. Two SATA cables and two antennas. That's for the Wi-Fi. And 
a USB. I'm gonna go ahead and install the M.2 before I put it in the PC. It's gonna be easier to do it here, but we're gonna go ahead and remove this here. Insert it at a 30 degree angle. Use this clip to hold it. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna install the smaller one here. I'm gonna come in at 30 degree angle and lock it in place. And I still have another M.2 slot and another one here. I'm not putting it in here. Ooh, that one's loose. Should this one be this loose? My only thing is, if you guys can see this one here, I tightened that as much as I could without over tightening it. Let's take it out. Came out with the uh, M.2 lock screw all the way out, which it shouldn't have. I got it removed. Okay, so hand tighten that. Put this one back. Okay, that's hand tight and I just took everything out and tightened it, but still does it. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the CPU in there. I have pretty much no idea how to open this one. Okay. Oh, it's inside plastic case. So this is the bracket that we took from the other motherboard. I'm gonna take these uh, spacers slash two-way screws, and now we can remove this one here. On the CPU here, on the edge, uh, you're gonna see a little arrow. Uh, you can see the same arrow right there. None of the other corners have it. So we're gonna take it out of the box. Just put it on top and it'll fall in place. I don't know if you guys can see, but we have the little arrow there, arrow and arrow. Push this one back, press it down. And that's it, CPU is now installed. We're gonna go ahead and put the motherboard in. I pulled all the cables aside and made room for the motherboard. It's now sitting perfectly and it's aligned with the uh, screws underneath. And now it's uh, just as simple as going back and putting all of them in there. Great, so, uh, this camera just ran out of space. I've got this one, it's 1080p, so the quality gonna go down a bit. I know it's a little bit of a mess, but just hang in there with me. So we're gonna connect the easy stuff. This is the power to the motherboard. That's just gonna go in there. Then the front panel. In case you're wondering what's going on, we have SSD, SSD, and then we have hard drive and hard drive in there. Let's go ahead and connect one SATA cable. We have a second hard drive connected. I think I just found out another hard drive that I have. I I thought I only had two hard drives, like hard disk drives, but turns out I have three in there. Two, four, five, six, seven. I have seven hard drives. Next, I wanna install the CPU cooler onto here. Our CPU cooler at the moment is dirty with the old thermal paste. Paper towel with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it. I'm gonna do just one final wipe to make sure that it's nice and clean. So before I put any thermal paste, I'm just gonna seat it down, make sure that it sits flush, feels pretty good. Everybody has their own favorite thermal paste. I've been using Arctic for a very long time. We just put a blob right there. We take our cooler. I know you can't see much right now, but tighten it up. So I'm just gonna sort of hand tighten them across. The uh, heatsink is installed, USB port here. Uh, two cables. We have one that will connect up there to the uh, pins for the uh, fan. And then this is the SATA power cable. On the diagram, I can see that this is CPU fan, the first one. Then we have pump and then we have RGB. This is the one for the uh, fans here on the radiator. So that one goes into the fan pins. I already see a problem. The old motherboard only had one power cable running, but the new one needs two of them in there. So we gotta go fishing for another cable. I found my power supply box and I found another CPU cable that I need. So I clicked the CPU cable and we're gonna fish that one and connect it in there. I don't really need to do what I'm doing right now, but since I have it out, why not? And if you're wondering like, Nick, what are you talking about? I am simply going to reapply the thermal paste, reseat it. Here is the uh, graphics card cooler. We got some rubbing alcohol. This one is now clean. Graphics card right here. Very gently clean this one as well. Just gonna use some Q-tips here to make sure that I'm getting the sides. I got my thermal paste here. And just before I put the thermal paste, one quick fitment test. Might have to move this here. I didn't unhook this from the radiators in my case. So I'm being a bit lazy, but it'll work. So that's how this is gonna fit. Let's put some thermal paste. 
I'll get this guy aligned. And I'm just gonna tighten them in a diagonal direction. To make things a little bit easier for me, we're gonna put the uh, graphics card in there. Plug in the USB cable for the GPU cooler. We can put the graphics card in. Graphic card is in, reseated. My back hurts. Oh. I'll put the RAM back in. That's one of the RAM sticks. Oh, done. All four sticks are in. Okay, not sure how well you guys can see, but I went and I fished both CPU cables and they're both long enough. So the only thing now is to connect them. Okay, they're both connected. And I gotta say, this is my least favorite part of building a PC always. Water break. This is pretty much the overview over the PC. So we have the CPU in here. I had to pull a cable across because I don't have a SATA cable long enough to go to the top here. Then graphics card with the cables coming down here. Here's how the PC looks here without starting it. I'm gonna go plug it in and hopefully it starts because if it doesn't, I'll be upset. Thank you all for joining along to this video. I love you guys.